I feel like I'm Gucci man in 2006. Yo, what is up everybody? Sorry, I had a quick little moment there. I be singing before I, I hype myself up. Anyway, we have LR Super Janimba's info. Of, I'm not going over his info. I am only going to mention though, his leader skill might be a lot better than I've noticed. I didn't, like I saw his info last night. I know I didn't cover it. I usually cover everything. Uh, but um, his, in, his leader skill might be a lot better than we're giving it credit for. But movie bosses alone, like even if Corroded Body and Mind is a, is a shitty category, movie bosses will really like they needed a new leader so badly so i'm definitely excited they're getting that however that is not why we're here we've got the easy a for lr great Sandman man one and two we have a new mercenary tau lr coming for the world tournament and some more world tournament units the awakening for physical mighty mask and a tech super saiyan gohan and an str goku honestly i'm not aware of how to get these two i'm assuming gohan is the actual world tournament card but i'm not sure and I don't know how the hell we're supposed to get Goku. I really have no idea. I'd assume off the World Tournament banner, but I I just am not sure. So please don't quote where I think you get them from. Now, Easy A Great Sandman one and two, they're twelve. They're getting their, you know, Easy A through an Extreme Z area. I know everybody hates those. It is what it is. Their leader skill is actually wild. If you have every type on the team of a super class, you know, or you need one of each color. They will give three key and 130% attack to the whole team. That is amazing. I didn't think they would buff it that much. I thought they would do the 130 without any key. But to give key is actually, that's a legitimate leader skill. Like, no, that's a serious, like, you can run that leader skill. It's not that, it wouldn't be that forced if you did it correctly. So that's definitely dope of them. But then for their 12 key super attack, they raise attack and defense for one turn, cause colossal damage and seal super attack. They always were very useful because they sealed. Their 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn, and they still give super class allies attack 30% for two turns. All they, all, a lot of units that are easy now need is to raise defense on super attack. So that's really good. They're doing like a lot of stuff through their super attacks. They were always like that though. Passive skill, attack and defense 70% at the start of turn. They give super class allies still its four key and 40 and 50% of defense. I was hoping they'd bump it to 70. I really did think they would. It, it's not bad. Like four key and 50 is still valid. It's just they could never defend themselves the way they were helping allies defend themselves. So, I mean, it, it should be all right now. So we'll, it's more tolerable. Because, you know, they're not going to get clacked on the back end, like, from third slide attacks. Gain an additional attack at 58% and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing an extreme class enemy. And extreme class enemies, that irrelevant defense minus 70%, that debuff. But, yeah, they're actually really good. I like them a lot. I do. I do. I think they're a really good card. Now, or at least a really good easy A now. Like I said, Extreme Z area. Now, LR Mercenary Tau, he's a really weird unit. I did skim over him before I started the video. LR STR Tau, leader skill, Dragon Ball Saga 4. I'm assuming this is Boyhood Saga, because I know that's how they are. So, like, the Inch Kid Goku leader skill, not the full Dragon Ball category. But anyway, 4 key, stats 130%. His 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn, causes a colossal high chance to perform a crit, which is actually really dope. I didn't think they'd give it to a basic unit. Like, Well, I mean, World Tournament LRs aren't basic. They seem to take them more and more seriously over time. Like, Demon King Piccolo is like a great step in the right direction. And now Tao looks like he'll be really good. 18 key does the exact same thing attack defense high chance to crit which means if he were to additional he would be guaranteed critting a passive skill attack and defense plus 5648 per, per key sphere obtained he gets an additional 7564 percent or not percent but like attack and defense per key sphere obtained if there are three or more key spheres obtained i don't know how that works in conjunct in conjunction with a normal does it go up to that or does it like stack on top of each other? We've never seen flat buffs like that before. It's odd. He gets another additional attack, 10,108 when performing a super attack. He gets an additional attack and defense, 10,108 when performing an ultra super. 
and he gets one key per key sphere obtained. So at least he's very self-sufficient. He seems to be an orb fiend, so of course that would make sense. Extreme STR. Let's look at his link set before I look at his active skill. Crane School, Supreme Warrior, Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Dodon Ray, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. My goodness, his link set is, it's actually hard to look at. So Brutal Beatdown, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power are basically his only links. Don't even worry about the rest of it. Coward? I don't know that I'd call Tao a coward. I mean, he was always with the smoke. I mean, that man was with the shits. I don't know if I'd ever call him a coward. I, maybe you could trade that out for, like, shocking speech. Tao was fast. Maybe you could trade it out for shocking speed. If you don't want to force that, at least trade it out for, like, nightmare. I mean, he he really scared hella people across the globe. I mean, this, we're talking about a legendary assassin here. We're not talking about some normal boss that Goku ran into, like, the man had Goku basically had a bounty on his head and Tao came to collect. Like, this is not this is not some guy. Tao was really that dude back then, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, back to his active skill. Eva, Evil's Feudal Resistance. Uh, able to be activated once this character has received three or more attacks during the battle and the HP is below 50%. That seems like it's really not that difficult to do because, I mean, if you're taking the attacks in the first place, you're probably going to end up getting below the 50%. I don't have a problem with his active skill. I'm assuming it's a normal attack active, active skill a la LR SSJ Fords, a la the GT Super Saiyan units that, uh, from a couple months ago. Temporarily massively raises attack, causes ultimate damage, and stuns for one turn. I haven't seen any of his animations, by the way. Only thing I've seen is this hair whipping gif on the right side of my screen for the last two minutes. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I'd assume with his LR stats, he's going to hit hard. Of course, he like he massively raises attack, ultimate damage, and it, it would be a guaranteed stun. So in SBR, that'd probably be useful because, like I said, I don't think his active skill is hard to get, but we'll have to see. Link, because three attacks is nothing. You can get three attacks turn one. So uh, turn two, if you or turn three, I should say, when he comes back around, if you really took enough damage, it'll be there. So yeah, I don't think this is a, a problem at all. Link set, crane, oh no, we went over that already. They're terrible. Categories, Dragon Ball Seekers, Drag that is good though. They always need the help, especially with like the free to play LRs. It's still probably the best free to play roster in the game. So that's good to see. Dragon Ball Saga, Siblings Bond, Target Goku, and Earthlings. Um, Siblings Bond, I don't have a problem. Like it makes sense why he's there because him and Shen, but it's not... And his his spot there is definitely hard to get because to Mina Minosha and Tapion are so unique. <laughs> if I were to be nice about it, so I don't know what to call them. Dragon Ball Saga, I eh, I mean, there's probably gonna be other towels on there you can use them with, like the Tech one that I awakened a couple years ago. He's actually not trash, but I mean, eh. uh, Target Goku. No one runs that team, so... And then Earthling, I mean, I guess that'll be good. That's not the worst thing. Earthling is always going to be one of those side categories, so it's good that he's there. I don't want to waste too much more time on him. Physical Mighty Mask is Awakening. Leader skill does not matter. Super Attack, the final cannon, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. That's all some units need. Passive skill, Inexplicable Rhythm. That's smooth. I like that. Attack and defense 150% at the start of turn. That's a decent, I mean, you know, free to play stats, but that's a really good attack buff. Uh, gain an additional attack and defense 150% when there's one enemy. They evade all attacks when HP is 50% or below once only. And once the effect has been activated, gain a high chance to dodge enemy attacks in the following turns where HP is 50% below. So basically, the first turn is guaranteed to be a dodge when you're below 50%. And every turn after that, it's a half chance to job to dodge. Oh my goodness, words. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like say too much at once. I guess I'm dripping. But yeah, after the guaranteed dodge turn, if you're below 50% again, you will have a 50% chance to dodge. If that makes sense. I hope that does. And then evade all enemy attacks when HP is 30% or below. Oh, okay. So 
basically if you get anywhere between 30 and 50 percent you'll have a guaranteed turn and then if you get fully below 30 percent you'll have another guaranteed turn i would assume if you initially got below 30 percent it would activate the 50 percent one too so you'd only have one guaranteed dodge turn instead of two but that's the i mean don't get me wrong this is trash like in actual utility but the concept isn't the worst i mean if that makes sense i hope it does i hope it does but yeah link set the innocence flee more than meets the eye world tournament reborn i hate that link i literally hated that link since like dokkan was young uh super saiyan shocking speed shattering the limit and eh. categories world tournament and boost saga why are they not on super saiyan why are they not on youth why are they not on um prodigal warriors why are they not on hybrid saiyans what was he always like this mighty mask mighty mask hold up i i know i'm not supposed to do this like mid video but work with me why does that that doesn't make sense physical why would they do that doesn't make any <laughs> that doesn't make any sense though that yo this game is so because and i don't want to hear anything because great saiyan man who is supposed to be gohan's alter ego has all of gohan's categories if a great saiyan man unit did the kamehameha he'd have every normal gohan um ca category so it's like why that doesn't make any sense bro that doesn't make sense they just withheld them from like what could have been a good four or five categories anyway str goku who's also driving like i said i'm assuming he's a world tournament banner unit we'll see leader skills are relevant super attack supreme damage medium chance to stun passive skill attack and defense 159 percent at the start of turn he launches two additional attacks that have a medium each of which have a medium chance to become a super attack okay he gets an additional attack and defense five percent per attack performed up to 59 percent that's not the worst i mean you'll get it quicker than you think and then he has a medium chance to crit oh so he has two additionals that can become supers and he has his crit oh this guy's actually ripped Oh, now we, we keep seeing these units raise attack and defense. If he raised defense for one turn on super, he'd be crazy low key. We'll have to see how he is in action. Link set only family, Saiyan lineage, turtle school, in fighter, shocking speed, incredible adventure. Categories World Tournament, um, low class warrior, pure Saiyans, Goku's family, and turtle school. Okay, okay. I mean. He's actually not, I mean, his stats are going to be horrific, but his actual set is really good. I like what they did. And finally, Tech Super Saiyan Gohan. Leader skills are relevant. Super attack, the Wild Rush Blaster, raises defense permanently and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, attack and defense 158%. At the start of turn, reduces damage received by 30%. If there is a one enemy, he gets an additional attack and defense 58%. If there's another Goku's family category ally on the team. Wow. Okay. So, raises defense permanently, which means along with that mitigation and long events, he'll probably be really good. I would assume. I would assume. And then on Goku's family team, his buffs are going to be over 200%. Uh, yeah, he seems like he'll be t at 215%, 16% attack and defense. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I like that. He seems like he's really good. I mean, yeah, I don't have any gripes with him. I, there's no, I, I, he's really simple. He's not going to put up crazy attack. His defense will be good enough, sort of, somewhat like high school Gohan, like his defense will be enough. But of course, he's stacking defense permanently. So longer events, he'll be better off. Link set, even though it's not as big of a mitigation as high school Gohan. Link set, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, All the Family, Super Saiyan, Z Fighters, Gaze of Respect. And then categories, Hybrid Saiyan, Goku Family, Youth, Super Saiyan, Android Slash, Cell Saga. Because it's the Gohan, I believe this is the episode where he met Mercenary Tao. And Mercenary Tao was like, yo, you, yo, you look like that one dude. You look like your pops. <laughs> You're your dad's son, aren't you? <laughs> so Tao ran off. But, um, yeah, this is from that filler episode. Bond of Master and Disciple, Rapid Growth, and Heavenly Events. Okay. Yeah, that, wow. This is one of the longer videos I've recorded, and it's only for the World Tournament. I, I didn't even cover Janemba, and Janemba's info 
Janemba seems to be getting over it or overlooked. I people seem to be upset with what Janemba is. I like Janemba. I think he's all right. His art, yo, son, you guys gotta see his art in motion. He has the best LR set, like the the effect where it's like tra the transition on the LR. He has the best one in the game. I've never seen them put that much effort into changing it. it it's so cold y'all gotta see it man y'all gotta see it his lr transition is tough but i love his art i didn't like it at first but when i saw what it actually does in animation it's so cold bro it's so cold but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that oh his super attack effects are garbage by the way i do want to state that too i don't know why they only give jim those effects like he doesn't need to raise defense but like if he massively raised attack for one turn, if he had a medium chance to stun on 12 key, if he... Uh, I don't know. If they gave him that freaking high chance to crit on his 18 key that they gave him on those super attacks when he's enraged, oh, he'd be insane. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. By the way, Janemba used to give himself one key last night when he initially dropped her super attack done in slot two or three. They buffed it to two key, so you'll get it a lot faster. I like that a lot. And of course, six key, 66%, you know, all the, uh, I guess, symbolic references it's supposed to make because you know who, what Janemba embodies. So I'll leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoy. Consider liking and subscribing. This is a long video. I know some of y'all don't want to hear my voice that much. So I'll end it here. Hitman <laughs> is out. Have a good one.